Hi everybody, welcome back to our kitchen. Today, as you can tell by the title of the video, we are gonna make some sourdough hamburger buns. So let's get started. Okay, so I fed the starter last night. This is 50 grams of starter. I'm gonna add this to the bowl. There we go. And to that, I'm gonna add a cup of water. So that's, a well, actually a little bit over a cup. So it's 250 grams of water to the starter and I kind of like to I always mix these things up before I put the um, flour in because I feel like it helps distribute everything much better all right so we're gonna put in about seven grams of salt and I'm gonna use this little with oh you know what let me put the sugar in so you can use sugar or you can use honey uh, for this part um, the only reason I'm putting a little bit of sugar in is because it's going to help the rolls to brown on the outside. It's not necessarily for sweetness, but it does give it a nice little, you know, taste. So I'll put that in there. Okay. And then I'm going to just use my little whisk to kind of get this incorporated. Now I did this recipe, I've tested this recipe out several times and when I first started doing it, I put butter in. And then when I did the calculations for how many calories that were in here, I was like, oh my gosh, no, I'm not doing this with butter. Um, it was like 500, well, almost 500 calories per bun. And I was like, no, I'm gonna try to make this without butter and still have like a really nice soft um, bun. And we're doing just that. So once I get that all kind of incorporated, I'm going to add three cups of uh, all-purpose flour, which is 360 grams if you're using your scale. And I always say use your scale because you're going to get the most accurate um, measurements. And that's how I do all my testing. I try to make it as you know accurate as possible so that you do not waste any food whatsoever when you're making these. Okay. Take this off. All right, so now I'm just going to use this dough whisk. You can use an offset spatula, that's what I usually use. Um, these come in handy because the round part of this dough whisk kind of helps to scrape the sides of the bowl as you're going. So I'm just gonna get this incorporated as much as I possibly can. Sorry if you can hear the air conditioner behind me, it's kind of loud. I'll make sure I turn it off on the next part. All right, so this is going to look shaggy and it's going to be kind of sticky. You can get in here with your hands and mix this up just a little bit more if you want, but I'm going to let this sit for at least 30 minutes to start a, so that flour absorbs all this water. So this is what it's going to look like. And then we're going to come back in, I would say 30 minutes, and we're going to uh, do a stretch and fold on this dough. So I'll be back. This has been sitting for 30 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. So give this dough a little bit of time to kind of absorb some of the liquid. So it was looking really dry at first, but you're going to see that now it's going to be a little bit more sticky. So I've got a bowl of water that I like to keep to kind of wet my hands with and that's going to help it not stick as much so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go in here and i'm going to stretch and fold this dough this is a very well it's a high 
hydration dough and we need that to make a nice fluffy soft uh, hamburger bun. You can also make hot dog buns with this. Okay so I'm gonna let this sit for 30 minutes longer and I'm gonna do this two more times letting it rest for 30 minutes in between. So we'll be back in 30 minutes. All right, let's do a second stretch and fold on the dough. That's what it looks like. So I'm gonna, again, wet my hand, a little bit of water, and then reach up, pull it until it starts to become kind of resistant. And then just fold it over. It's gonna be a little bit stickier dough than you're probably, maybe used to working with. So just use that water to kind of coat your hands. And that's gonna help keep it from sticking. I'm just gonna turn it. There you go. We'll cover this back up and let it sit for 30 more minutes. We're gonna do this one more time. All right, this is our final stretch and fold. This is the third one. So I'm going to Give it a nice stretch and you can see it's less sticky on my hands now. I'm still using a little bit of water, but I'm just going around and see how that kind of pulls up now, pulls the dough up. That means, you know, go ahead and stop stretching and folding. That's done. Okay, so we are gonna let this sit here at room temperature until this dough doubles in size. Now, I like to use one of these little refrigerator thermometers. Um, that way I know what temperature my kitchen is around the dough. And that's gonna help me decide how long this is gonna sit here. So right now it's about 72 degrees. And I'm guessing this is probably gonna take um, probably I don't know. I'm gonna check it at six hours, but it's probably gonna take more like eight hours, but we'll see. I'll come back and let you know exactly how long it took at, for my kitchen. And then you can adjust your rising times based on you know what happens here. All right, this has been rising. It is doubled and it looks perfect. We can go ahead and shape, uh, go ahead and shape them into the dough ball. So. Let's go do that. To get these hamburger buns shaped, you just need a couple of things. You wanna make sure that you have a baking sheet. I have a piece of parchment paper on top of it, but you could use a silicone baking mat if you'd like to. Um, I also have a clean kitchen towel. I'm gonna to use this to cover them while they rise during the second rise. Um, I have a bench scraper and use this to divide the dough. Um, it's not totally necessary. I do have my scale because I'm gonna weigh each one because I have to take pictures of these and I want them each to be, you know, as perfect as possible, but you don't have to do that. Um, I've got some flour and yeah, that's all I need right now. So go ahead and flour your work surface pretty well because this dough is very, very wet, okay? You're forewarned, like, don't let that scare you if you're not used to working with dough. I'm putting a lot of flour down and I'm going to use, this is a, like a little flexible dough bowl scraper. I'm gonna use this to work the dough out and I'm going to, once I get this dough onto this floured surface, I'm gonna try not to move it around very much and I'll show you why. So let me go ahead and get this turned out and then I'll bring you in closer so you can see how I get this dough divided the easiest way okay so the top of the dough does not have any flour on it right now okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of just eyeball six e even pieces so I'm gonna divide it in half see how sticky this is. It has to be um, this hydrated so that we have a nice fluffy soft bun. All right now I am gonna go ahead and um, 
weigh each one of my pieces. So now that you have all your dough divided, you're going to take each piece by itself and you're just going to pull one side of the dough in and push it in the middle. You're gonna do that on each side, okay? Kind of like you're shaping a ball of sourdough into a you know round ball of dough. And once I have all that on the top, brought up to the top. I'm just going to turn it over and I'm going to twist it on the work surface. I'm going to try to make a tight little dough ball. If you need to add more flour, just feel free to do that once you have it shaped. Try not to do that beforehand. Okay, and that's it. So I have a nice tight little ball. I'm going to transfer this over to my parchment paper. Okay, so let's do that again. And the reason why you don't want the flour on the top is because you want the dough to stick to itself. If you put flour on the top, it's gonna prevent it from sticking. So again, just work this into a ball by just going around and pulling the sides to the middle. Okay pinch it up together like this, flip it over, and just use your hands to twist it into a tight ball as best as you can. And then I like to use my bench scraper to help me lift it up. Okay, so I'm gonna take a clean tea towel. I'm gonna cover these up and I'm gonna let these rise until they're nice and puffy. It's probably going to take about an hour and a half, two hours. All right, let's get these buns in the oven. You can see they've been rising. They're nice and poofy. So I'm going to do a little egg wash. This is an egg with a tablespoon of water mixed in. And I'm just going to coat each one of these. This is going to give the um, outside of the bun that nice shiny exterior when they bake. And um, I'm going to put sesame seeds on mine. You don't have to, but um, they're really, really good. The, this egg wash will help the sesame seeds to stick to the bun. Nice and covered on the outside. And you guys just wait. These, these are really, really good. They are so soft. Um, you know, just like what you would get at a grocery store, except, you know, there's none of that yucky ingredients in it. You don't want. And it's completely natural. Okay, so I'm just going to sprinkle, these are just regular sesame seeds. They're not toasted already. Um, if that's all you have, I would use it. You could even use black sesame seeds if you wanted to, um, or a mixture. Good. And I mean, it looks like I have probably about a little less than a teaspoon per bun of sesame seeds but I you know that's just your personal preference whatever you like okay I've had my oven preheating to 375 so it's nice and hot I'm gonna bake these for 25 minutes and then I will show you the results all right these are ready I am so excited I wish you guys could smell these right now oh perfect Perfect, perfect, perfect. Look at these. 
Oop, let's slide. I don't want them to slide off the, the baking sheet. Okay, so it's a good to take them off the baking sheet and get them onto a uh, cooling rack. Make sure you take the parchment paper off. And that way the bottoms don't get, you know, soggy or anything. But yeah, this is it. That's all it takes to make these hamburger buns, you guys, look. Ooh, okay, so we will let these cool and then I'll slice one open so that you can see what they look like on the inside. All right, let's go ahead and cut into one of these. They're still pretty hot, but that's okay. I just want you to see the inside of this and just see how oops, soft that is. So look at that. It's just super, 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 super soft. See? You guys, these are so easy. This is one of those recipes that you're gonna wanna make all the time. Just a couple of tips that I can give you. Um, so this uh, dough we put together in the morning and let it sit out all day. And then after it uh, doubled in size, I went ahead and shaped it and baked those. However, if you wanted to, you could let the dough rise, that first rise, cover it and then stick it in the fridge for up to two days before you take it out, shape it and bake it. So that's another way that you can work that into your schedule. Um, these stay good um, at room temperature for a day or two. I would, anything past the second day, I would take them and stick them into a freezer safe bag and pop them into the freezer. And that way when you're ready to eat, you just take one out, let it thaw out and you're good to go. Make a double batch of these and that way, you know, you bake once and then you have hamburger buns that you can use, you know, just whenever you need one. All right, you guys, I really hope that you like this video. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and the like button so that way this gets pushed out to more people that are looking for easy sourdough recipes. And go make some of these easy sourdough hamburger buns for your family. Until the next time, bye.